Everybody poops, but it's not always convenient to poop when the need arises, such as when you're in a business meeting, while you're sitting in traffic, in the checkout line at Target, out at a restaurant dining with your friends, or teaching a room full of first graders. While waiting for the opportune time to poop is kind of a thing that a lot of people do on a somewhat regular occasion, you might wonder if it's really a bad thing to hold in your poop. And the answer is, it depends. You know, I, I just don't feel comfortable. I'll, I'll, I'll just hold it. No. <laughs> You don't want to do that, that stuff back up on you. Top of your head, just fly clean up. See, you do have the ability to pick a convenient time to empty your bowels, thanks to something called the sphincter anti-externus, which sounds like a transformer, but is actually a specific muscle located near the anus. When you're ready to poop, you sit on the toilet, relax the muscle, and the pooping begins. This muscle also means that you can hold off on pooping for a while, too, until you're not busy, your social situation clears out, or you get home. Or find a sink if you're really desperate. Problems can arise, though, when you put off your bathroom visit for prolonged periods of time. According to Columbia University's Go Ask Alice advice column, keeping your feces tightly packed away inside for too long can lead to a bevy of uncomfortable and potentially hazardous problems. Basically, if you don't poop when you need to within a reasonable amount of time, let's say several hours or so, you can become constipated. This is because part of your colon's job is to absorb water from your stool. The longer you hold your poop inside, the more time your colon has to continue to leach water from your poop the whole time, without any concern for your comfort. By the time you hit the toilet, all that's left are some hard and dry pebbles to try to release into the pot. Constipation is definitely uncomfortable if you experience it every now and then, but it can be downright miserable if it leads to chronic constipation. This condition is heralded by several signs and symptoms, none of which are pleasant in the slightest. Symptoms can include passing fewer than three poops per week, experiencing lumpy or hard stools, working super hard to poop, feeling like you just can't get it all out, feeling like there may be a blockage, or even needing to remove stool from your rectum with your fingers. You don't need to experience every single symptom here to qualify for chronic constipation, though. Just two or three symptoms over the last three months means you probably have the condition. The gift of constipation can keep on giving, too. This means you can develop hemorrhoids, which are swollen blood vessels in and around the anus. They're painful, they can be itchy, and they can also bleed. Hemorrhoids. They burn. Itch. Swell. And hurt. The problems don't necessarily end there, though. If things get bad enough, you can also experience fissures. No, not those kind of fissures. Anal fissures, which are tiny tears around the anus, which can really hurt and can also result in bloody stools. Symptoms of anal fissures include pain when you're pooping, pain after you're done pooping, bright red blood on the toilet paper or in the stool after pooping, a small lump or skin tag near the fissure itself, or a visible tear in the anus. And finally, if you withhold pooping on the regular, your anal sphincter can kind of give up and lose its ability to completely relax. That, in turn, can set you up for further wide-scale pooping problems. Basically, it can make it hard to physically poop everything you need to get out, which can lead to even more constipation, which can then lead to all the other bad stuff we already mentioned. That can require you to retrain your sphincter, which, yes, is a thing. While pooping can feel like an embarrassing experience in certain situations, it's always best to go as soon as humanly possible. This means that it's a terrible idea to wait a whole day because you're hanging out with friends or don't feel comfortable pooping around your significant other. Pooping is a normal and extremely vital human experience, so don't hold it in. You might eventually regret it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.